Hi, my name is Jessie Froelich. I'm the founder of Blue Barrel Rainwater Catchment Systems, and today we're going to build a Blue Barrel system out of six repurposed drums. Blue Barrel is all about upcycling the industrial waste stream of these very barrels. They're 55 gallon food grade drums that are approved for shipping liquid materials all over the globe, and they do end up all over the globe. Blue Barrel upcycles that waste stream into functional, streamlined, and pretty sleek looking rainwater catchment systems, and we're here to help you do the same. Blue Barrel is your one-stop shop for all the tools, materials, and know-how that you need to build your very own system. Blue Barrels are manufactured by a number of companies worldwide, and they're not all quite the same. Barrels may look like this, or they may work more like this. Blue Barrel provides kits to serve both types of barrels. Today we'll be building with this type, but I'll also go over the slight differences that you need to be aware of if you're working with this type. There are four things we need to look for when we figure out where to put our blue barrel system. First, we're gonna look for existing downspouts. Second, we're gonna pay attention to where we are in relation to our irrigation area. We wanna stay pretty close. Third, we're gonna look for some shade. And fourth, we need to build on level ground. Your blue barrel system needs to be installed within a couple of feet of an existing downspout. If you don't have gutters and downspouts already, you'll need to install them. The downspout takes the rainwater from your roof into your drainage system or onto your landscape. And what we're gonna do with a rainwater catchment system is intercept that flow and store it so that you can use it for irrigation. If you're using your blue barrel system for garden irrigation, which is an ideal use for it, you can do it by gravity feed without even using a pump. The way to approach that is to stay fairly close to your garden if you're on a flat site. You only need your water level to be about a millimeter above your irrigation area in order for it to work. If you're lucky enough to be on a slope site and you can build your system uphill from your irrigation area, you can get the water to travel much farther by gravity feed and you don't have to worry so much about how close you are to your garden. Shade is important because it helps keep your stored water cool and it keeps the direct sunlight off of your barrels. Here, we looked for a nice shady spot on the northern side of the, of the home, and there are trees surrounding as well, so we don't need to worry about direct sun. A little bit of sun on your system is okay, but if you don't have a spot that's shady at all, you can always create shade. You can build a fence or a trellis type structure around your system, or plant some hedgerow type plantings. 